it is not ideal to put women in management roles because they tend to get too emotional. Women should sacrifice their career and prioritize building a family. Assertive women are not feminine. It turns men off. Have you heard of any of these statements around you before? Because in this brand new episode of After 5 at Jumix, we want to break the bias and advocate inclusivity for women in all industries they wish to be. To celebrate International Women's Day, hello, this is your host, Deanna. It has been a while, isn't it? Today, I'm so thrilled to be sharing this episode with you with four really special guests. They are going to unpack how they break the bias in the esports industry in general, and especially in Malaysia. To start this episode off, did you know in the early 2000s, there were barely any female esports gamers at all in Malaysia? The lack of female representation drives the stereotype that the industry is male dominant, hence making it very unapproachable for women to be in esports. Today, we have Chu, who is a professional shoutcaster, Shu Fei, who is a gaming content creator, Mira and Eliminate, who are both esports video creators and hosts, to share how they journeyed and conquered milestones as a woman in a stereotypically male dominant industry. So, without further ado, take it away, ladies. Hi, I'm Chu Chu, a professional caster, also. When I'm doing my fun time, I'm also a streamer. I have the background of a uh, medical degree from um, overseas for my MBBS. Um, this year I'm quite old. I'm 30, ding, 33 years old, very soon, which is going to be a couple of days more. And also, happy International uh, Women's Day, which is going to be also my birthday during that month. So um, your first question was, did you get gender related comment when we first did it, started your passion and career in esports? Like, um, gender discrimination is very common. I have to say it's up to to the point that it's kind of norm now these days. <laughs> and definitely, that, that is still a thing. But I'm, I'm loving the fact that people are accepting female in esports scenes like a bit more open-minded regarding uh, this issue. Um, not just casting side, it's also esports. If you notice, there's so many tournaments, even um, the upcoming SEA Games in Vietnam, Hanoi, around May, also open up for female category in esports action. So that's that's really good. So um, if you ask me what kind of gender related comments that I really get at first, uh, as a commentator or a shoutcaster, usually people are always like, Kind of, kind of not used to female voice in the scene that much, especially in Malaysia. For internationally, it, it, that not really happening anymore. But for Malaysia, they just started accepting. So it's always sort of um, that girl commentator is annoying. That's the most common one, and just it's always they they always find flaws or fault that like a. I didn't wish to get born as a female, you know, it's just something that I'm born with. If only I can change that, right? So, you know, I, I, have, I have to say it's kind of true and it started out like that up to the point that I actually have to sort of sometimes don't even use my voice chat when I actually play a semi-pro back then in tournaments. I just prefer people don't know my existence as a female, just me as a player instead. Um because it's best to not expose yourself uh, your gender right so because people start to don't believe in your skills when they actually know about your gender or sort of being judgmental and plus they don't actually put confidence in you when you do the shut up course so that's one thing for sure and um even your point example i think this is pretty much in every industry and um every time you a, 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 I'm, I'm sorry to say this out loud but this is very true I mean if there's if you are a female and you're giving out a point or facts or something that is actually true your point will be disregarded nobody actually cares that much you'll be taken up lightly but if another person which is going to be male giving up that the same point just repeating what you say 
everybody just gonna say, yeah, you're right, you know, that kind of stuff. So, uh, that's something that I've been facing since like, what, mm, maybe 15 years, so maybe since 2008 or nine. So that's quite a long time. How did I overcome that? When you sort of taking poison every single day, you get used to it, you're immune by it, and you just know how to deal with it. You just, oh, it's the same type of toxic comments all over again. It's pretty pointless if I have to fight about this because they're not going to change their view. They're not going to change their perspective unless I prove them otherwise. So the best part for me is actually just prove them that they might be wrong. No matter how people try to stomp me down, I just prove that I can be stronger than that. And just, there will be a point that I, I start to break down as well. But is it really worth it to, you know, after everything that, like for me, myself or all the other females out there, you've, bu you've built everything you are up till now. And then it just crumbles because of a couple of random strangers can, just going to, not gonna acknowledge you is the acknowledgement really that important so for me personally i overcome by having really close circle of friends that i have 100 percent confidence and believe in and also i ask for their very honest opinion what do i have to fix instead of asking random strangers for the acknowledgement, which they will never help you in any way since they don't know you that much, they don't really care. Might as well, you know, care and ask around the people that really have been there for you the entire time. So I, I, I think that's my way of doing things. Is there anything that men can do in game that women can't? It's pretty much the same. That's why I love esports in the first place. For me, it's all down about how you reset yourself to go through another day for esports because it's very exhausting it's very st stressful it's straining um it's very time consuming but esports is basically electrical or electronic electronic sports which don't really require your physical being difference between the anatomy of a man and a woman so I don't think that much of a difference when it comes to any area of esports. It's just down to how much you're willing to put commitment and how much you're willing to sacrifice. The thing about most female athletes in esports scene is that they, I would say would not, but really could, couldn't, up to the point that it really, really can't actually put that much commitment in because... Women in nature, we do have more of a caring nature. We are mother-like. So we're not willing to sacrifice, let others suffer because of our action on consequences uh, regarding about our actions as well. Example, women are more attached their, to their children than men. Whilst men wouldn't mind that much since they do know that, okay, the mother will actually take care of the, of the children regardless that he's playing the game or he's working but for females of very different nature in that sense we are more reliable we are more reliable when it comes to you know taking care of our children but if both like both of us example even the mothers start to sort of abandon i wouldn't say abandon being a bit more less in caring nature and who's going to take care of the baby definitely like the mother's going to attach more to it it's your baby. You gave birth to it, right? Um, how do you stand up for yourself when you're faced with a sexist comment? There's one time actually somebody uh, body shamed me uh, in live stream. And I actually uh, asked for a lawyer to... <laughs> uh, since it's already a crime to actually body shame people. Uh, Cyberbullying or, you know, in the open. So, um, I mean, like, most of the time it's just, I feel like, it's not worth it to invest that much emotionally for the people that I don't really know since I don't know about them, so I don't really care. Why would I care the comments that coming up from people that I don't really know them themselves, right? Um, so whatever people said out to you, like in in public or sexist or whatever, they, they, there must be something wrong with these people. I mean, like if you're saying that, males are alpha or 
supreme being in uh, on earth and i think that these guys have a bit of a family issue mostly i mean like your mom gave birth to you in the first place so you're trying to be biased towards women who actually your mom gave birth to you you won't even exist without the existence of the other side of of the gender which is going to be female so what's the point of you trying to be toxic i don't really get <laughs> so uh, usually that's just how i think things um and those people who are actually very bitter with their comments they have issues with gender discriminations i just have a mindset that something might have gone so wrong in that person's life to be this cruel this mean and not empathetic that it hurt him so much him he or she irregardless that he he doesn't have that kind of empathy towards the others it feels so sad thinking on that kind of perspective that they are not being welcome in the community or in life itself maybe even family issues that they are trying to project their bitterness to its others because they don't know how else can they express their emotional damage you know <laughs> something i just think it that way i feel sorry for these people actually kindly give one advice to women today who plan to start their path in esports think widely think very wisely i'm sorry i really stumbled a lot because i'm really tired today think wisely because esports is not something that you want to have way in and halfway out you have to be all in i i was in the position where part of me want to be in esports part of me want to be medical but i realized that when you do things half-heartedly you cannot go in entirely in you cannot give full commitment that's where things really gonna be really harsh on you um it would be just too much so for uh, women uh, in esports who just started planning out you know what don't worry about whatever people are gonna say to you their acknowledgement don't really matter that much it's not important what really important is what you feel about yourself what do you think about yourself i sometimes do it affects me in some way I'm, I'm i'm just a human being too but it's okay what's really important is you have the circle of friends circle of family that you have your trust within them that support you and being with you all the way through your journey and the most important thing you have to believe in yourself and don't stop believing because the moment you stop believing in yourself that's where all the neg negativity and um, the negative comments the whatever people have been said about you 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 will be affected by that it's really hard to overcome that huge wall but in the end of the day the only person that is really most critical and harsh towards you is going to be yourself well, the others don't really care that much about you anyway so the only person that really cares about you is going to be yourself just do what you like what you love keep a passion going on and just be happy that's the only thing that you can do for yourself like they deserve a bit of that empathy for you yourself that happiness and just don't care those acknowledgement are not that important because they won't change anything so yeah happy international women's day hey guys it's lemonade and i'm here to answer some gender related comments regarding my esports and gaming career. This is for the Break the Bias feature. So the first question is, did you get gender-related comments when we first started your passion or career in esports? So regardless of being a public figure or not, the stereotype always will exist whereby females are inferior when it comes to gaming for some reason. This intensifies especially when you start putting yourself out there. When I first started streaming my gameplay, there were of course a lot of supportive people but also very nasty people who would see you as an easy target. I've been stream sniped a couple of times whereby people who were watching my stream would purposely try to queue as a team against me and only focus on giving me a horrible time throughout the game. Why? Well, some people think that it's fun to watch um, someone have a miserable time online when they're just trying to have fun. 
Other instances of gender-related comments include times whereby people who found out that I'm a girl would just trash talk about me in the game, my capabilities of the game, and sometimes people who would even go as far as to saying, hey, don't expect much from her, she's a girl. And I know they mean well, but even that implies some form of negativity throughout the female gender. How did you overcome that? Well, personally, it wasn't an easy journey. I remember the first time after I streamed, I was completely defeated. I didn't even want to stream again. However, I realized that I have this humongous love for video games. And I love games even if I do suck. <laughs> even if I do, am, even if I am not as good in it. But that won't stop me from trying and trying my best in both playing the games and streaming. Eventually, I got better in my games, more confident in my streams, and more comfortable in my skin. It also helps when you meet other ladies out there who are advocating the same cause as you, and they are great examples and inspirations, and are living proof that the gaming industry is not a one gender thing. It is for everyone as long as they dare to play the game. Is there anything that men can do in gaming that women can't? Well, the only thing that men can do in gaming that women probably cannot do is lift their shirt off in front of an audience. But all jokes aside, gaming utilizes your intellectual skills such as strategizing, micromanaging, and even test your mental when things get hard. Other than that, it's the fine motor skills of our hands to pull us through. And to be frank, none of this is any different when you compare men to women. Any gender can do this. How do you stand up for yourself when you're faced with sexist comments? Just like any form of bullying, you are only the victim when you allow yourself to be. The internet can be very nasty and insults are bound to come in. So for myself, I try my best to block these comments off. I know that if I start retaliating out of frustration, that it's only going to fuel the attacker more and spiral further down. Instead. Ignorance is the best retaliation, especially when they secretly keep coming back to see what you're doing. Kindly give one advice to women today who plan to start their path in esports. Well, to the ladies out there who love video games as much as I do, be unapologetically proud of yourself. Frankly saying, gender makes no difference, how you look makes no difference. But what does make a difference is the impact that you want to leave. You can either let minuscule comments shake your confidence or let them empower you to leave an even greater mark. And you are definitely, definitely capable of doing that. Go ahead, break the bias and just do you. Hi guys, my name is Xu Fei and I am a content creator slash streamer and I have been in the esports industry for a few years now. So a little bit about what I do, um, I stream on Twitch and I have hosted a number of tournaments um, from Dota 2, uh, Valorant, um, Mobile Legends and I generally make a lot of uh, content about gaming. So yeah <laughs> okay so the first question is uh did you get gender related comments when you first started your passion or career in esports um definitely yes uh even up to now i still get those comments and generally it's always the same comments like they would say like um you're probably a girl that's why you uh, climb very fast in the esports industry or they would say like always oh, because of your looks and your assets and your gameplay probably suck you know these comments are always the same so in relation to that the second question is how did you overcome that um for me i feel like because i know that i've contributed a certain amount to esports when people say these kind of things it's just like yeah and then like what have you done for the esports industry you know i have been working my ass off since the start to get somewhere you know but what have you done for the esports e industry nothing so for me i think that is a huge confidence boost um, but at the start obviously when i haven't achieved what i've achieved today i would definitely get affected a lot um, but i think over time it just like i kind of have this sudden realization that 
yeah, these people are just empty vessels. Uh, for example, um, I remember EGG Network posted something about um, me on their Facebook page uh, because they're like a gaming um, company, right? Uh, so they posted like a quote that I uh, said about um, esports or something like that because I was part of, I was a host on one of their shows. So um, someone commented in that post and said like, oh, she's probably one of those typical girl gamers who shows a lot of cleavage on her stream. That's why she's famous or whatever. So when I saw that comment, I was a little bit affected, but after that, I started laughing because one, that random person has probably never watched my stream. And the thing is, on my stream, I do not wear anything like, you know, I don't, I don't, 我, 我不是很暴露的, so I, I don't wear anything like skimpy or things that show cleavage. And the thing is, right, like, yeah, these people are just saying stuff. And the thing is, they don't know me. They really don't know me. They've probably never watched my stream in their whole life. And he just made an assumption on a post that I was in. So when I realized that, I just told myself, why do I even bother with these kind of comments? Because there are people who don't even know me. If they stayed a little bit longer in my stream, they would know that I'm probably funny and I have a personality. That's why people stay. But that person doesn't know. And he just left a mean comment. So for me, uh, it, yeah, it definitely takes time to kind of get used to these kind of comments. Like I just ignore them. Honestly, like in the industry, you get more love than hate. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I don't really care. Third question is, is there anything that men can do in gaming that women can't? Uh, I would say it's pretty equal. Because if you say like in real life, I would think that men are definitely uh, stronger physically when it comes to like, you know, lifting stuff. Yeah, just basically um, physically stronger. But when it comes to gaming, those things don't really matter. But if you want to ask me, like, is there anything men can do in gaming that women kind of would say one? Like, being toxic. <laughs> okay, don't get me wrong. I have seen, like, toxic women in the gaming industry. But I think uh, the amount of men who are toxic is way more than the women. And the thing is, I think it's because... They are not as emotional as women. They can't empathize for other people. So yeah, definitely uh, being toxic is one trait that they are really good at. Not everyone, not all men, but yeah, I think that's something that we can work on in the industry. <laughs> okay, uh, fourth question. How do you stand up for yourself when you're faced with sexist comments? Um, I'm a very direct person. When I first started out, I usually get very affected, right? And I would just ignore these comments. Like, I would just not say anything and just look past them when it appears in my chat. But when I go to sleep, I'll think about it for, like, the longest time. But now, um, since I've kind of overcome some of the, the nasty things that people say about me, usually when I see something bad that goes on in my chat, some random ass has something to say, right? I usually just reply with a very sarcastic comment or I would just ban them yeah like I remember like I think two weeks ago there was this one person usually my chat is not toxic at all I think I get a lot of love when it comes to my community but there was this one random person that just came into my chat uh he just said like oh people probably watch you because you're pretty because I don't know how you get like so many viewers and followers and when I saw that I'm just like thank you so much for thinking that I'm pretty because I think being pretty is a very big compliment you know <laughs> everyone wants to be pretty so if you have if your only insult is that I'm pretty then I, I'll take it I'll, I'll take it really <laughs> yeah it's either I reply with something sarcastic or I will just ask them to fuck off yeah, like, I don't really care at this point. I just, I just tell them off. Uh, the fifth question is, uh, kindly give one advice to women today who's pl who plan to start their path in esports. Um, if you plan to start your path in esports, um, I would say be ready for these kind of insults. It would definitely come. But 
please please remember that these comments don't define who you are the most important thing is you know who you are and those comments can't affect you i know it's very easy like it's easier said than done and the thing is i know that a lot of girls they are not as strong as me when it comes to taking in these kind of comments but inevitably you are going to go through this same path and i hope that you understand it's very important to be very strong-willed yeah and i think the second advice i would say um try to mix with like-minded people who people who can support you in your journey i think that makes uh the experience so much better because for me um i have a very strong group of people uh, that i hang out with in the gaming industry and they have made my journey so memorable yeah so i hope you find that if you are going in this path so yeah i think that's all i have to say uh thank you so much jumix for having me for your international women's day campaign i hope this interview is insightful for many of you so yeah good luck on your journey did you get gender related comments when um i first started my passion or career in esports i didn't really get much backlash from the people around me my parents have been supportive with current um your know, passion and career that i've chosen in esports though there are some people commented about uh, my physical feature not those typical beautiful woman that is most presentable in the industry second question is how did i overcome that mainly when people try to talk bad about me i will just ignore it i don't really need to comment about it because at the end of the day um i know my um, you know i know myself well i know myself better and if i were to actually go down the line of you know commenting or going through over it uh, it's just going bring me down to their level which i don't want to do For question number three, is there anything that men can do in gaming that women can't? Mainly for this question, I don't think there is a boundary or a limit at the end of the day. So there's no there's no difference in men and women in gaming. So okay, uh, for question um, number four. How do you stand up for yourself when you face with sexist comments? Uh, usually, I will actually just uh, joke about it, and I tend to not give more comments or like put more attention on it. So I just joke it off and then I just brush it off and like ignore that you know that thing actually happens. So question number five: Kindly give one advice to a woman today who plan to start a party in esports. Um, I would say just go for it. Uh, esports is not just about you know you becoming a professional player. There's a lot of other things that is you know behind the scene. And I work with multi. You know, I work with a lot of women who is currently in my company, from graphic designing to uh, you know handling broadcasts, um, even handling tournaments in general as well. So just don't be afraid um, to actually just step up your game. All right, it's back to me, Diana here. Before we end this episode, I would like to thank the four special guests that you've listened to just now. Um, thank you for agreeing to be so candid and transparent with the issues you face as a woman in the esports industry. This really gives uh everyone here a perspective and awareness of how discrimination um is like in certain industries. If you would like to support this year's International Women's Day theme, Break the Bias, do get yourself educated on how you can be a change maker yourself. Let's work towards a world where differences are valued and celebrated. From all of us here in Jumix and After Five at Jumix, happy International Women's Day. I am Diana and I am signing out. Bye.